I'm recording for YouTube. Last time we left off, we were, uh, we, <laughs> we had renamed, uh, Mudge to Blue Ball, which, that was peak comedy right there. And, uh, we are now, we've beaten, uh, uh, Fantina, and we went through through 209, so now we're up in Scalation Town. Um, so now we're gonna go do everything that's here. I believe the big thing is the ruins, which will be another encounter for us, which is nice. Oh, no. I don't know what- I'm so- I do not know why we're chugging. Like, is there a- is there something working in the background right now that's like- My computer doesn't write- like, hold on. Let me get the task manager open. Uh, well we don't need this. Working. <laughs> I want to point out that in Task Manager, my emulator is called DS Emulator Sorta, also first quality melon. <laughs> Cute. I can tell the programmers had a lot of fun with that. Um, so we're going to... Scully... I can spell, right? Is it like... Solation, not scolation. Why did I always call it sc scolation as a kid? Solation town. It's it loads. Okay. So Solation has item wise. So there's yeah, there's the berries. I can get a daycare checker and the Pokemon history. Seal case. Oh yeah, I can get the seal case. There's some honey. There's some other items. Okay. So, let's go get some of these things. So we already got the berries here, I believe. I think I even planted some new ones. Yeah, I did. Jesus, what is up with... I do not understand why we are in chug zone right now. I know I'm not... I'm not... I'm currently not in my normal filming location right now. Uh, because, what is, what is, okay, hold on guys, I'm gonna actually, real quick, I'm gonna save, uh, actually, we didn't really do anything, so I'm just gonna, uh, do that, and then we're gonna re, we're gonna restart the thingy and hope it works, if not, I might have to move my setup and actually, like, have a wired connection, although I feel like that shouldn't matter, I feel like it shouldn't. I mean, sometimes, I mean, it could, I guess. I, I feel like that shouldn't matter in terms of, like, the emulator running smoothly, though. So, I don't know what's up with that. Um, we want it to be... We want to open this up and that up. Open up all the files. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna open... Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully... Wi-Fi shouldn't affect the emulator all of a sudden and it required type thing. No, it's not. So that's why it's like, I don't know why it's, why it was being like that. Okay, so far, so good. How are we? Are we chugging now? We're still chugging. I honestly do not understand. Like, I'm not, I'm not, my computer is running at 3% CPU I didn't change any settings. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, hold on. Nope, nope. Yeah, I'm like not sure. I don't know enough about, about like, uh, stuff like this to the really- <gasps> Oh my gosh, Mal and Wynn have followed. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm assuming, are you two people, Mal and Wynn? I'm assuming, I think you guys, I think you guys are two people. Oh lordy, why is the, I apologize so much for the awful, awful chug right now. Holy crap, my apologies. Sometimes, I don't know what's going on. This is so weird. Like, I do not know why it's doing this. Like, what could it be? Anyone with tech experience, do we, do we know? 
Do we know what it could be? Like... Like, I'm just at a loss. Like, sometimes it just does this. I don't know. Sometimes it's just like, hey, I guess we're gonna not work today. And I'm like, why? Must you be like this? <laughs> Is it... I just don't understand. But thank you for the follow, Malwin. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Let me know what your thoughts are on Pokemon. I'm assuming if you follow the stream, that means you like Pokemon, so... It'd be very strange if you are like, Pokemon suck. <laughs> I'd be like, what are you doing? Wait, why are you here? <laughs> why are you here? Do you like watching? Do you like hate watching things? I mean, I, I respect to hate watch. You know, people who hate watch are valid. Okay. Um. God, the chug. I hate the chug. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we're getting another app. Another Pokecatch app. Perfect. Um, I think the daycare man gives me an egg. So we might have a new mon, folks. So let me go put a mon in the in the PC real quick. And then we'll get the new boy. I'm doing good. I love Pokemon. Platinum is my fave out of all the games. Well, I'm happy to be playing your favorite game. Uh, since you're new here, uh, just as a clarification I am playing um, a randomizer nuzlocke and if you aren't sure what that is I do have commands at the bottom I have rules are is my rule command but it explains Pokemon I also have random stats explains the randomizer aspect of things um, but TLDR um, basically this means that I am um, oh okay hold on I might have to talk to her wife his wife her wife Man, wish, I wonder what would happen if this was a, uh... I thought you gave me an egg. Do you not give me an egg? Take care, man. Who gives me an egg? Doesn't someone give me an egg in this town? Let me go on the... Hold on. Well, I know if I put someone in the daycare center, he will give me the daycare app monitoring thing. Uh, oh, hold on, everyone.
Okay, so I was interrupted, but it turns out the interruption wasn't necessary, I guess. Very weird day today. <laughs> Let me unpause the game real quick. You're still chugging! Can you not game, please? Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> One second, everyone. Oh boy. I don't understand what's going on. This is very upsetting to me. Um. Oh my god. Oh! Well, unfortunately, I don't have a toga piece, so I can't give you that. But I like heart skills a lot. Heart skills are useful. And I cannot get it, apparently. Hey. <sighs> okay, so there's the houses here. Pretty sure one of these houses is the uh, seal, seal case lady. Huh. Right. 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 Oh, hold on. Let me go back to that and then Galatian Town. Uh Yep, but one history. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. There's also a hidden item here. One tree in the far northeastern corner of the of corner of what? Of town? Of the town? Okay. Um, okay, there's an item here. I just have to... Hold on. I'm trying to find this hidden item that the guide is recommending I get. Yeah, so the team, that team command is, like can be said, is not accurate. Um, my team is actually, uh, I mean, we can show off the team in a moment. I'm just trying to find this item. Eh. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is the seal lady, I think. Yep. I guess we could try and, um... We, we, we could, we could work, we could do shit with seals if we wanted to. What? Oh, okay, so he's saying if I catch unknown, I can show him that. Seals are the cool sticker things, right? They are. They are the cool sticker things. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can actually get, I'm not even going to be able to get, like, the whole alphabet. Because, um, the unknown aren't necessarily here, and I might never see an unknown, so... Well, I mean, that's not necessarily true. Okay. A C in sense. Alright. Oh yeah, there's also the Lost Tower. Which we- which is back there. Okay, so here's the question. Do we challenge- do we- do we do the Scalation Ruins first, or do the Lost Tower first? I 
feel like the Lost Tower makes sense first, and then the Scalation Ruins. Um, just because, like, you know, order of things. Okay, yeah. So we'll, we'll touch on the, we'll do the Scalation Ruins last. So for now. Um, but for your benefit, Malinwin, uh, here is, oh, I, because I thought I was going to get an egg from the daycare man, but I did not get an egg from him, so never mind. I need to go get, I need to go get mining. Oh, also, guys, I'm so happy. I actually now have a new scene for whenever uh, we're we're in a situation where the uh, bottom screen is prioritized over the top screen, and it's a nice it'll be a nice cool cool scene transition. I'm very excited about it. So whenever if we get a new encounter, which we will get in the Lost Tower, um, it'll be it'll be nice and a smooth transition, and it won't be. Stupid. Not stupid. It won't it won't be uh I won't be like clicking things on and off anymore. So that's really nice. Okay. Ooh, spooky. I gotta say, the the Lost Tower definitely does look a lot more spooky. Oh. So this area has defog. Okay. I <laughs> was okay um so you remember how i was just literally saying that i didn't know if i'd ever get an unknown guess who has an unknown now <laughs> as their encounter for this area i literally the unknown was like hurry do we're talking shit and came to say hello okay um i'm gonna use tackle so Wait, it only has one move though, right? Oh no no, it should have it should have four. I think I said it said every Pokemon is four. So this unknown might be better than, than a normal ass unknown. I know, right? Okay, uh That's so funny. I can get the O sticker. So that's cool. Um Let's use a great ball. So this is gonna be my lost tower encounter. So weird! Yay! I got unknown. Okay. When alone, nothing happens. However, if there are two or more, an odd power is said to emerge. Give nicknames you call unknown. Yes. Ooh, and now I can show you guys my new scene. So now I have this scene. And it already has the name generator up. So I don't have to click on and off. And it sounds awkward. And the actual, like, name is front and center, which it should be. So... I like this a lot. I'm very happy about this. Yeah, it's a new- we, we're, we're improving the stream one stream at a time. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who are new here, I think mostly Mal and Win. Um, so not only is this a randomizer Nuzlocke, um, in like the sense of that everything is randomized, but, uh, I also randomize what names I give them. So you'll see on the- to the, to the right of your screen, there's a name generator. I roll a d20. Whatever number I land on is the category by which I name them. So there's a lot of potential. I could give them a really good, could give it a really shitty name. I could give it a really good name. We'll see. All right, but before we do that, I want to do my traditional letting chat decide what uh which dice set I use for this stream. So let me. Nope, I don't want to edit the stream. I wanted to manage a poll. Roll for which dice you use. But see, Quimby, which dice set do I use to determine which dice set I use? You know? So let's do a new tall. Dice set. So it's gonna be my pink set. My blue-black set. I don't have a dice cam, unfortunately. My spider set, which is like a kind of white and purple, like a translucent and purple color. Or various, which basically means I pick uh, some dice out of my pound of dice, so they'll all look different. They're all from different sets. So, shoot, didn't realize y'all had started. <laughs> um, I mean that's not that's totally fine, Genesis. I apologize because I was super late today. Um, as soon as I started stream, my I had I was in charge by some personal things that I had to take care of. So, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it really just started. The only thing that just happened is I caught an unknown after I literally just talked about how I didn't think it'd be likely that I'd catch one. Which, what are the odds? So, now we're gonna name it. I don't know. Uh, so apparently I need defog in order to, to, to do this area, maybe? I mean, technically I don't think I need to. Right? So, I think it should be fine. I hope. Oh, a tie for blue, black, and various. Okay. So the way I will, I will, the way I will resolve the tie is I will take a d20 from both sets and roll them. And whoever gets the higher number will be the set I use. Sorry for the loud uh, shaking. I was trying to randomize the... Let's pick uh, this d20. A green one. Okay. So. You changed my vote to various then? Were you the person who voted for blue-black? I mean, you can keep you can keep your, your vote. It's fine if it's even. I can just roll for it. Okay, so. Got an 8 on the d20 on the blue-black set. And that's a 7 for the various. So. We are going to instead do blue black. Blue black has a chance to redeem themselves today after the utter disappointment of last session slash last time we were doing stream. So it's been rolling really badly lately. So I, I hope I hope you better you better do good this this time. <laughs> okay. So now that we've determined our dice set, let us now determine what we're going to what category we're going to use to name the unknown. Oh, that's a 19. So we're going to TV Tropes, baby. Woo. Okay, we're going to go to Firefox. Is BB in Dice Jail? BB was in Black, uh, um, Blue Black was in Dice Jail for like a week. <laughs> I put him in, I have a, tra a little trash bin. I think this was supposed to go in my car when I got it. But now it just sits on my desk and it's my Dice Jail. So if, if any of my dice roll real shitty, I put it in the trash bin. To be like, you You need to think about what you just did. Why? Hold on. One second. Is this... Okay, there we go. Sorry. I wasn't sure why it was being like that. Okay. So, um... We want TV tropes. Which I have pulled up already. Let me just make sure we're centered. We're not. There we go. Much better. Oops, and then we're going to random media. Janine Garofalo. Okay. So I guess we're naming uh the unknown Janine. Interesting. Uh Janine Garofalo is born September 20 uh 8, 8 1964 in Newton, New Jersey. Oh, she's from New Jersey. Yo. Is an American com comedian comedian, actress, and the quintessential Gen S chick, often cited as a real-life Daria. A stand-up comic by trade, she was first documented during a comedy challenge show by, by Showtime. Her TV debut was on the Ben Stiller show, the second one, which resulted in Garofalo and Ben Stiller getting cozy for a while. Lucky break landed her in the role of Paula on the Larry Sanders show, netting her two Emmy nominations. Garofalo joined Saturday Night Live during the show's 1994-1995 season, which was fraught with seasonal riot, rot, the likes of which haven't been seen on the show since the 1980-1981 season. Garofalo hated her time on the show, describing the sketches as juvenile and homophobic, referring to the male-dominated cast and writing staff as an immature boys club. Garofalo quit mid-season. Her last episode was a February 1995 episode hosted by George Clooney and was replaced by Molly Shannon. Garofalo's short time on SNL yielded no returning characters, only 13 celebrity impressions. Pamela Anderson as G.J. Parker from Baywatch, Kathleen Gingrich, Hillary Clinton with Bill Clinton played by Michael Keaton McKean, Jack Jackie Stan Stallone, Joan Ember Emberly, Jodie Foster, Madonna, Juliette Lewis, Martha Stewart, Mary Lou Rannan, Sarah Sarandon, Susan Mol Molinari, and Sherry Stringfield as Susan Lewis from ER. Uh, her other notable 90s role include Jerry's distaff counterpart on Seinfeld, a snarky gap manager in Reality Bites, 
and starring alongside Uma Thurman in The Truth About Cats and Dogs, she continues to act on television. In the 2000s, her acting was largely a pig in a backseat to her role. Current work as a liberal political pundit, most prominently as a host of her own show on the short-lived Air America Radio. Okay. So, yeah, technically, we could name her Janine, we could name it Jan them Janine, or we could name them Garofalo. So, I will put that up as a poll, because there is a last name here, so. If we have interest in there being, if it need be named, her being named, or them being named Garofalo, then I will, I will allow that to maybe happen if people want it to. So, we'll start a new poll. It'll go, we'll do unknown name so Janine or Garofalo man I wonder how uh, Janine would feel about knowing that she may or may not be no like a, a random Pokemon and a random randomizer is being named after her okay Oh, we don't need- you guys don't need to see the random poll, the poll manager, but hey, at least you know I'm doing it! Full transparency and everything. <laughs> okay. Okay, but Garofalo sounds like it could be Pokemon. Janine is weird as fuck. <laughs> well, feel free to submit your votes. We got one vote for Janine, one vote for Garofalo. Garofalo is a very interesting name. <laughs> I'm very interested in this unknown. Like, if it'll be good or not, you know? Because unknowns are typically pretty shitty. But, uh, maybe this one will be, like, actually good shit, you know? Um. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's like naming a cat Edward. Not it's gonna, its stats are gonna be Garbo. I mean, its stats will be Garbo. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I am not, in, like, really considering Unknown at all on the team. At least not right now. Like, maybe if, in a pinch, but, like, like, like if, if, knock on wood, if anyone dies, if, if, like, my whole, like, like, half my team dies or something, like, maybe. But, uh, for now. I should probably take down some things here. All right, got a couple more minutes. Vote now on your phones. Come on, y'all. Janine is so good. <laughs> and the winner is Garofalo. All right. See, this is the fun time. Of, this is how names happen here. It's it's a very weird weird moment. So, uh, just so I know, uh, how are we all feeling about about the new setup for uh, um, bottom screen instances like this? I feel like this is way better setup for for when we name Pokemon because you guys guys can actually see me name it. You know? Okay, I hate democracy. Well, oh, let's go back to this scene. Democracy is how we work here. All right. So, let's see if we can get how far we can get up. I know defog is going to be a thing, so we might not be able to do much of this tower, but um I feel like we should at least at least give it a nice good college try. What are the trainer levels like here? Oh, they're so weak. Okay. No, not scared at all. <laughs> um There is a TM here. So we do want that TM. Second floor. Directly south of entrance. Oh, there's a hidden item. Where is where where is it? Where is you? Oh. Hmm. Icicle plate. Ooh. Two make matter and three make spirit, shaping the world. Let's see what other mods we could have gotten instead of an unknown. Ooh, a sand shrew. Ooh, cute. 
Well, we're running from this. Okay. Wow, ghost, get away! Eek, help me, team! It's very rude to call some random person that you meet a ghost. Like, come on. Bastiodon. Nice. Alright, blue ball. <laughs> oh, this ridiculous name. Um. Believe you're weak to water. No, hold on. What water fighting and fire? Am I right? Oh, I always forget Bastiodon's weaknesses. Cause I always confuse them for Lucario's, and I know you're not actually that. Fighting ground water. Okay. Um. Well, I do have Cross Chop on Lacy, so we might as well. It's a glorious name. <laughs> it is a. It. You know. I don't. I feel like I, I'm not upset with 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 the name. Like. Out of all the things we could have named it. There you go. Nice. Cool. Okay, we probably don't need the uh the EXP share on um blue ball anymore. Crow gunk. Um, I don't really have, um, mm. I guess we'll just keep Lacey out for now. Smack. Exactly. Ooh. I always forget that I have recoil. Okay. Hound Hour. Uh, that one. Oh, I guess I could. Yeah, we could keep Lacey in there for that, too. Nice. Ninetale Fox is in with a hi. Hello, Ninetale Fox. How you doing? Ooh. You also wanted to be a mod here, correct? And I think I've explained to you what that would entail. If my memory serves me correctly. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Let me, um, remove... Yep, remove that. Okay. Oh, I need- I wanna get the item. Shed style. Okay. Oh, he could have had a glade! Rough! Super rough. What? Wait. I guess- I guess it, I'm too slow. But think of the seals, Dove. Fair, fair. No, very fair. I do love green onion. Yeah, I know. Gallade's a good onion. Um. But. Hmm. So its weaknesses are. I don't think it's weak to dark type because it. Ah, uh, actually, no. It'd be. It'd be four times weak to dark type, right? Because it's psychic fighting. Oh, Gallade, I don't use you enough to know your weaknesses off the top of my head. <laughs> Pretty sure you'd be four to quad weak to, to dark. No! Okay, you res I guess uh, fighting resists dark, so. Flying and ghost are my only weaknesses. I see, I see, I see. Um, I mean, I guess I can just use uh, blue ball. I mean, you, you are Gallade, so it's a little nerve-wracking, but Draco Meteor! Yeah, you were right. You're right, Quimby. You got it right away. Mm. 
Oof. Yeah, okay. Not the best. I don't like how much this thing's using metal sound on me. That's not great. That's not great at all. Come on. I do have I do have pure power, so that's really gonna make a difference here. Hell yeah. There we go. Get out of here. Yeah, okay, so let me um Okay. Let's move on. Do have any items on this floor? Oh my god. Backspace and backspace again. Uh, items. Oh shit. Man, this is gonna get really annoying real fast. To the west. Okay. Okay. Sorry everyone, I was just double checking items. Um. Can I run? Okay, good, we can run. Def fog is gonna make this like battling like real annoying real fast. Oh my god, yeah, this guy had his had his Pokemon taken away. It's so sad. Roughneck Kirby, I'm so sorry. Okay, Slackoth's not that scary. I saw S A S L A and I was like, no, <sighs> not slacking, not today, Satan. Like not at all, never, not again. Do I have defog? I feel like I do. I guess I could teach someone defog. I don't know if I can use it like in... Okay, good. She hit. Wonderful. Yeah. Get fucked, Slacka. Okay. I forget if I have... I don't really want to teach anyone like defog, but... Oh, I don't have the HM. Oh, I think um, the Scalation Ruins has it. So technically, I'm supposed to come here after I finish the Scalation Ruins, I guess. But yeah, we might we may head back and get Defog. Guys, we got a master ball. Yo! <laughs> I didn't realize that that was part of the uh, useful items pool, but damn. Okay. 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 Ballin'. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. So, Nine Tail Fox, um, let me. Hold on. I guess I'll give you moderator privileges now as well. Well, it's on the brain for me. Uh, roles manager. You are not on my, so hold on. The, I gotta make sure I type your username correctly. Cause like. Okay, yeah, nine tailed. I found you. Okay. All right, so cool. So now I have that. So I don't think there's a limit on how many mods I can add, which is nice. Um, also, hold on, Genesis, I think you've been chatting enough that I can give you VIP status. I just wanna, I just wanna, like, indicate that VIP status is something that I just kinda give on a whim occasionally. So, um, if you don't have it, I promise it's nothing against you. Okay. So I have like 30 of these things. Aww. <laughs> Coming in with a bunch of sad, sad uh, emotes. Alright. Let's let's actually do this the way the game wants us to. And I'll go to the collection ruins now. So. You should have, you should have a, a VIP badge now, Genesis. But if you don't, let me know. I might, I might have given you the wrong Genesis. No, that's the... Oh, that's the pleading phase. Aww. I see. That makes sense. Is Scalation- Is Scalation Town just kind of like the chug city of this game? <laughs> We're chugging a little more than we should be. Okay. Thank- Ooh. No problem! 
Yes, you do have the VIP badge now. Great, 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 great. Oh, yeah, let's get the... Now that I have... Oh, let's check out the unknown. And let's show it to that guy and get the alphabet seal. Since we, we can. <laughs> we might as well. While we're here. Okay, exiting, and we're gonna swing on over to that house. Okay, so it's literally just the letter O <laughs> that I got. Which that's fine, but nothing too exciting. So now while we're here, let's check out Garofalo. Adamant nature. That's like the worst ability for for Garof for for an unknown. Wonderful. As drought and ah, uh, well, recycle is a really interesting move. Defend order. So it has it has a bunch of like it has two really good good buff moves and then spark. <laughs> All right. That's not that exciting. Uh, we're, Garofalo is, is gonna probably just be in the box <laughs> the whole time. Hey, at least it's a physical move? Yeah, yeah, at least it's a physical move, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. Did we... Did we... Yeah, we did. Okay, good. I have my whole team with me. Perfect. <laughs> I was worried I didn't have the whole team with me. Okay. So now let's go into the Scalation Ruins. And it's a box with Quinn in the box with Quinn. Shaking my head. Some of these I know some of these areas have hidden oops. Have hidden items in them. I don't think this one does though. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me get my this out. And then indicate that we've uh, caught something at the lost root at the um, lost tower. Okay, and then this is gonna be the Salation ruins. Is gonna be this encounter. So top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower right. Are you impressed that I read that, guys? I yeah this okay. Green shard. That's handy. Yeah, I think we're good on levels. It would have taken me a bit longer to get that, to be honest. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed. I have good pattern recognition, I guess. I heard the hidden machine defog was somewhere in these ruins. It's just that I seem to be lost with everything looking the same. Now what? I could use help here. There's a clue. Oh! Dub, do you used to be Pokemon? Pika Pika! Ah! Uh, oh, shit! 24. That's a pretty big level hike. Okay. Um. Well. I mean, a fully evolved Mon is always exciting. Kind of lame that it's a Swelo, but like... Hey, you know, I'll take it. Oof. Okay. That's not great. That's not great! Okay. Perfect. And then we're gonna... Let's do a... Great Ball. Swelo is good! I will die on this kill! Yay! 
Hey! You know, I'm not- Swillow's Twilo, decent. I'm- I'm- I'm not upset with this. Hill. <laughs> it sure is bird. Indeed. It circles the sky in search of prey. When it spots one, it dives steeply to catch the prey. Yep, we're gonna give it a nickname. Let's get over to our naming screen here. And let's see what we're gonna name him. Or her. We're gonna name her. That's a 13. No, you're meme entry. Oh boy, we're meme we're, we're, we're memeing on this one. Exciting. Uh well, let me bring this back here. Let's get on to the internet dictionary. And then let's uh man, this this could be this could be anything. This could be anything. Oof. Uh hold on. Uh no, I don't want uh, no, I want I want chat. I want chat. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, can you guys not see? Oh no, hold on. This is what I rolled. Silly man. <laughs> oh my god. This entry has been rejected due to incomplete or not nobility. <laughs> in 2006, the picture was uploaded to 4chan in which he called Slyman JPEG. The other 4chaners laughed at him and he left and had not posted again. And then a user got the photo and saved it and used it for his video called A Man That Falls. And then he, the man, then a man thought the picture was funny and edited it. And soon it became a meme. I mean... <laughs> Cute. And name this agent of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> My favorite meme. I know, right? This is so iconic, honestly. Like, look at this. So iconic. Anyway. Um, well, I guess we're naming you Silly Man, then. Strange. <laughs> uh, let's do... Hold on. Okay. So... I demand a recount. <laughs> well, I mean, there's always the rename, renaming Amon. That's always the thing you can do if, if we if we think Silly Man is not a good good name for a Swallow. Oops. Uh, okay, just fits with the space. Perfect. Silly Man for the win. <laughs> All right, Silly Man, welcome to the team. Oh, now we gotta change to the this one okay all right cool so we have our salation ruins encounter Super potion. Nice. Oop. Ancient ruins rife with the unknown. There has to be a meaning. It's significant to lose me. And it's gotten me cranky. Alright. Carl! Oh boy! Shane him! Shaman! I can speak. Okay, um, well, you're pure grass, I'm pretty sure, at this point, so, uh, I feel like we can maybe risk it with Renan? You are 19, you are a little lower level. Let's just hope you don't have a grass type move. Oh, no, come on. Ah, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Icicle spear, come on. Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Come on, do do all five. Do all five. Come on. Come on. Oh, only three. Damn. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna switch, because holy shit. Um, we're gonna switch to our pal Lucy. Imagine being named Carl and thinking you're just the shit. Shut up, Carl. You're real silly. You're the real silly man. 
I mean, and he's he's the, it's Carl with a K too, not Carl with a C. So that's how he knows he's a real extra. I think Flame Wheel should be good enough for the chain him. Nice. So cute. I'm so sorry you had to go. Okay. Oh, why does this ruin maniac have so many legendaries? What? Why? Okay. Um. Zapdos too. Uh. Uh. That's like ice and rock. I'm pretty sure. For so Brennan. Uh. I feel like since you're a legendary, we're gonna bring out Frozen. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Oh, I guess maybe mine would be a better choice because, like, stab, but that's fine. We haven't used Frozen in a while, so. Oh boy. Alright, Zapdos. Why do you have Signal Beam? No. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, hit the thing. Hit the- there we go. Oh wait, why did I use Seed Flare? I meant to use Avalanche. <laughs> well, uh, with that, no. Oh, oh no. I can't switch into Minum though, cause Psychic type. Fuck! <laughs> Hi Zazaho! Welcome to the stream. Uh, let me give you a shout out. Or actually, one of my two mods can give you a shout out instead. I have two of them now. Rock resist will be neutral. Oh, okay. Thank you for the point out, Quimby. Yeah, cause, oh my god, I don't wanna have Frozen out here. But, uh, welcome. You just got your two? Hi, Chapo Mon! Please resist. <gasps> no, 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 no! Who, who? Quimby, you lied to me! <laughs> How dare! Well, honestly, Minum took that a little better than, Z uh, than Frozen did. It's okay, don't worry about it, Quimby. You're alright. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> and Coulter's here! Man, th three folks, three new folks, and they're all cool folks too. Nice to see you all in chat today. How are we doing? Mine's almost level 30, you guys. Nice. Krabby. Uh. Hmm. One. We could. I feel comfortable putting Blue Ball out there. Well, at least it's not legendary. Good lord. Damn! Only once, and he's gone. Amazing. Holy shit. Blue Ball is getting so many levels so fast. I mean, I guess that's true for all, um... Uh... Starters, they tend to level up pretty quickly. Alright, let's at least get, uh... Uh, Brennan healed. I love how this guy just casually his mystical and a legendary and then a fucking crabby. A man fucks crabs! You could say he has the crabs, if you will. Okay, hold on, it's moving forward. Let's uh, go to this one over here. See if there's an item. Nope. Okay. Nope. Hot take. Carbs is better than crabs. I mean, like... Crab... Crab meals can be kind of... Oh, okay, so that's... I think that's moving on. Hold on. You wanna go down up here... Okay. Yeah, like I like I like breads a lot too. Ooh, wise glasses. Hello. What do those do again? I also need to really organize my bag. I have so many items. Like why? So many items. I can also sell that claw fossil too. Oh, okay. Slice of boost to power special moves. Hmm. Love me a potato or two? Potatoes are wonderful. I love potatoes. Potatoes are some good boys. Alright, I think we wanted to go up this way. 
Crab backwards is bark, a thing which crabs can't even do. Fucking losers! <laughs> I like crabs a lot. I think they're very cute. Well, I don't know if cute's the right term. I think they're very interesting looking in a very admirable way. All right, let's read this one. Friendship. All, hold on, all, li all lives uh, touch other lives to create something anew and alive. That's so cute. I've always liked that, um, that little bit. Meta-chan is here. Oh, great. Oh, great! I can't escape either. Great. Good. Okay, um... Uh, fuck you, Draco. <gasps> Why? No! Meta-chan, you piece of shit! Oh, this isn't good at all. Um, oh great, oh great, uh, hold on, we're, I'm not fucking around with this asshole, so we're using an awakening <laughs> in before all status moves, oh yeah, I hope, well, honestly, with, since it traced my pure power, <gasps> no, 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 <sighs> no, no! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, we're fleeing. No, I can't escape! Fuck! Okay, um... I need to get rid of this freaking pure power boosted Medichan, like, instantly. Um, 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 who is the best option? Who is the best option? Not <laughs> Oh we're gonna be heartbroken. I know we lost blue ball and now I'm like panicking because fuck I don't have a lot of options to get to Medchan. It's only weaknesses are flying and ghosts and I don't have bonds for that. Uh who has the best defense of of them all? Who is the defensiest? Um Okay, Brandon's at 30. Larvesta is 52. Lacey 66, Frozen 68, minus 58, okay. I'm gonna put out Frozen, because Frozen is the best defense. Lacey can my one shot with Flare Blitz. Uh, yeah, I just don't know what else this guy has. Um, wait, I don't actually know if, uh, if you resist any of these moves that I have here. Like, Medichan does not have great defenses, I don't think. No, its defenses are terrible. So, well, not terrible, but, like, they're not the- It's not a defensive mon, so. Um. Flying goes fairy. Grass is neutral, ice is neutral, and steel is neutral. That's what I thought. Okay. Ah! Uh, it do I don't think it does resist flash cannon, Queen B. It says here it's damaged normally, unless, like- Gen 5 has changed that. Or Gen 8, I mean. Uh, we're gonna go for Seed Flare. <sighs> There's nothing to! You have fucking Dark Void! Oh, this is the worst! <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Um. Uh, also, you're at half health. I totally forgot about that, too! Yay! Um, well, oops. I can't- my rule is I can't heal- I can't do healing when Pokemon are above half health. So I have to do Awakening. I'm frozen. Although I might have- I should probably switch, but whatever. It's fine. Covet? Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, now I can heal. We're gonna heal with my with an item, just because, like, I know it has a synthesis, but Frozen goes- is slow, so. Let's just at least heal. Okay. I feel a little better now. Oh, shit. And now I can't escape! Great. Okay. Come on, Frozen. You can do this. Just, uh, just- just- just do it. Thank God you used- ho oh. Okay. Get the fuck! Oh, come on, really? Flash Cannon should take it out, I think.
done. Okay. Holy shit. Um, I'm gonna get the items here, but... Oh, I found another EXP share, okay. Yay, HM5 Defug, perfect. We need that. White flute, okay. And then... Please leave me alone, I lost the mon! Leave me alone! Oh, fuck. Running slow, I don't know if it counts me to most pass. Okay, good. King's Rock, okay. Nice. Do I have an escape rope? I probably should just buy an escape rope at some point. For situations like this! I do have an escape rope. Alright, we're gonna use it. Just because I want to take care of the tragedy that has just befallen us uh, before we finish Escalation Ruins. Escalation Ruins. Man, that sucks. Poor Blue Ball. Okay. All right. All right, Blue Ball. I'm so sorry we lost you. You were really cool. You had an incredible ability. You're doing so well. And then bullshit had to happen because always it happens. <sighs> so very unfortunate that you had to die. Did I put... Yeah, I did. Okay. Um... But yeah, sorry you had to die. But uh, rest in peace, man. Alright. So now, we gotta make a choice on who we're gonna add. So for those of you who are new to the thing, I'm gonna run through all the mons again. Uh, I'll point out the ones that I think are good. Light motif, uh, not too excited about. Especially because this moveset's kind of... Mm. Although that shadow sneak could honestly be helpful. I have been in desperate need to take care of psychic types, but, um, well, I mean, like, flying types, actually, more like, so, but anyway, I have, this is Light Motif, you know, it's, a, it's abilities kind of okay, Stabby Abby is here with Limber, a Brave Nature, has this moveset, not really super exciting, but, hey, I think she'd be okay in a pinch. We have John Vockler, who has Runaway as an ability, and um, her moveset is like, she's strong, but like only for one turn. <laughs> the little, very powerful moves that aren't like necessarily the best. So, at least just with just those moves and nothing else. We have Hifla-Fafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafaf
uh, ability, a uh, move, I mean, which is not bad. So, Tetra is honestly a contender for me. And then we have Weed Goddess, uh, Docile Nature, Flash Fire and his ability, which is meh. And then, this is their moveset. They actually have a stab, uh, stab move, which is cool. The rest of their moveset's a little to be desired, but hey, we have Spark, which isn't bad, which is not a bad move, so, yeah. Could be better, but not a bad option, I think. The only problem with her is that she is the exact same typing as Drapion, so we'd have a, a lot of problem with ground types, so. A lot of my moms are weak to ground type, which is a little bit scary. And then we have Garofalo, which we got Scott, Adam in Nature, which is terrible for, a, for an unknown drought, which is like take it or leave it and then um at least it has spark i guess uh as you can tell not really not really into garofalo uh at all please do not say i should use garofalo because i don't want to and then we have silly man who we just got um oh adamant nature on a on a swale house is really good because you're a physical attacker hell yeah look at that physical attack oh <gasps> And she has shell armor! Oh, that's really good! Ooh. Tempted to get Silly Man now. And then, uh, ooh! Will-O-Wiss, uh, the fact that she has mostly, uh, s like, boost moves is not the best. Uh, we might have to, we might have to go to the, um, move reminder on her to see what other moves she used to know. But, attack order! Not a bad move at all. Honestly, um, I'm thinking Silly Man. I'm thinking we add Silly Man to the party. It would be a different, it would be a different, uh, move, it would be a different type combo. Uh, on the team, which we, which would be nice just to level it up, but vary it up. It, um, uh, she is not the same, she's not lo very low leveled, so we wouldn't have to grind as much with her. Um... So yeah, no, I'm 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 thinking it, it would be a good option, but like you know, also Weed Goddess I think isn't isn't a bad option too. Tetra is also not a bad option. The these are the these are the three I'm thinking are are and also Crispin. I mean, grind grindstone. Crispin's my uh my other horsey that I have, but uh, Crispin's dead. So <laughs> yeah, my O's are Silly Man. Yeah, honestly, I. Feel Feel like I'm leaning towards Silly Man, and I still see the two people already said Silly Man. I don't, I'm not gonna bother pulling up a poll for it, just cause like, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not torn. You know, like I put up polls typically for these things when I'm like, I'm not sure who to put on. But now that I've seen Silly Man's whole deal, I think, I think she'll be a good uh, option for the team. So we're gonna go with her, especially with that, like a mom that can't be crit. Like that's just so valuable. Like, incredibly valuable for the team, so I feel like that's worth it just in and of itself, so. We're gonna put you up front. I don't think I need to add, like, a... Any things to help with leveling up, because you're probably gonna level up anyway. Alright. Nice. We heal, we heal. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, that was upsetting, but at least we had a good solid mon to replace Blue Ball with, which is good. Although we will miss Blue Ball very much. <laughs> Alright. So now we're gonna move this way. Nope, I lied. Hold on, let me look at the top right, lower left, top right, top left. Top left, lower right. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you later then, Quinby. Oops. It was top it was top left. Or top right. Hold on. So it was 
We did go to this room, but there's still that area. Yeah. How do I get, hold on. Cause there's that other item, there's that other area. I. Is that with the digging man? That might be with the digging man. Uh, the whole like there's, cause there's like there's like a top entrance, but I think that's um, it's question ruins. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Right now you'll be able to find. Yeah, so so the ruins, the maniac tunnel will expand. Um, I don't know if we can even access that because that area of the game because like we don't have access to all the unknown I don't think So <laughs> that's unfortunate But let's head back Oops. Okay. So now we are out. And now we have defog. So we can teach that to someone. Um, I mean, I guess silly man it makes the most amount of sense for, but let's see. Let's see. Who can learn it? Oh, wow! Only Frozen and Larvesta! Uh... Does Larvesta have a move that I'm like, maybe not? Hmm. Honestly, Leaf Storm is like, not the best on her. And, uh, or him, excuse me. And, like, I already have, I already have two mons, like, I already have Frozen, so a powerful grass move is not necessarily something I'm hurting for, so, yeah. I'm just gonna do that real quick. So we can, we will be getting rid of Defog, like, as soon as we can, though, because it's not as useful in this generation, and, like, I don't really see any major need to have it on the team any longer than we need to. Honestly, we're gonna be getting rid of like once we hit the leaf four, we're gonna be doing like a lot of um, uh, move set editing, you know. Guide sorcery. Hi, I'm here, but I'm also about to marathon film some YouTube vids. Oh, hello, guide. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, don't I? I have just given uh, Quinby mod privileges, so you are no longer our only mod. So if you have other things to do, uh, then. Please don't feel like you need to stick around um, that much. Yeah, you've you've joined by I, I have assigned my two mods. My other the other mod is the Nine Tail Fox. I don't know. They kind of said hello and then they didn't say anything else. So I don't know if they're still around. But now you are not alone. So don't feel bad if you've been uh, uh, not here. All right, so we're gonna go into Lost Tower now and finish this place off. Also, uh, just so you know, guide. We have lost another mon. We lost, we lost blue ball. <laughs> to him, to a, fr it was so bullshit. The meta, the me the meta chan, cham trapped blue ball. Then it used, uh, trace, I it had trace, I think, or somehow it was able to obtain pure powers and ability. And then, <laughs> and, and then it used power whip. And like, oh man. Oh no, it used, it used it, yeah, Trace Pure Power. It also used Meditate, I think, which boosts his attack. So we, it had a, it was like four times, it, it was like super powerful attack move. It just, there's no way Blue Ball was, was living. So yeah, very sad. But we have, we have Silly Man now, who is a new addition to the team. Oh, okay. Blue Ball has been revived! Alright. 
Ah, uh, hold on. Let's um. Let me get my new thing. Don't lose blue ball this time. I'll try not to. Okay, well now I need to. Now we're in a tough decision because now I don't know if Silly Man should be our new person on the team or if we should go back to blue ball. Um, cause honestly, guide this Suelo is looking real nice. Like it has an adamant nature. She has shell armor, which is incredible. And she has like a, a fairly powerful attacking move. I mean, the rest of her moves is kind of bleh, but like, like, I mean, she's looking pretty sweet. Uh, so I have some genuine on the fence if I want to bring, bring, bring blue ball back or if I want to keep silly man on and. And try her out and see how she does. Hold on, I have to bring out some of my notes here. Uh, which one is it? It's the... Oh, I can search. Hold on. Sorry, everyone. I'm just, for my personal notes, I'm just uh, taking down who's been revived and who hasn't been. So, um, blue ball has been revived. Okay. Better. Yeah, so, no, it's, she's not bad at all. Uh, actually, I'm curious. I'm going to start a poll because I'm so indecisive. So, but I want to know what you guys think. Hi, just dropping in to say uh, hi. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to lurk a chat because I'm very tired and I might fall asleep. Haha. <laughs> no problem, Gardrak. Thank you for coming in. Um, we're actually so you just missed the death. <laughs> we lost Blue Ball, but then Guide brought brought Blue Ball back. So now I'm gonna ask um everyone which Mon we're gonna continue to have on the team. Um, silly man. None. Okay. Let's make this a uh, short poll. Oh, well, I mean, we do have a couple more people, so we'll do two. Okay. So while the poll's going, I don't think I was here for getting blue ball. Oh, were you not? Uh, so blue ball, blue ball was our our mud kip that evolved into Marsh Tom. Was that after the MGS stream? I was gonna catch much of that if anything. Oh, okay, yes, it was. After I finished playing MGS, I switched over to Pokemon. So yeah, we had okay. So what happened was we I caught a mud kip earlier on, and um, it was re it was really named Mud, but then we named it to Blue Ball, and then uh uh Mar <laughs> uh yeah, someone named it Blue Ball. And then we added it to the team, and then it was on the team for a little bit, and then it just recently died. Between here and Emus channel, I feel like I'll have to change my name from Guys First Freedom to Hard Necromancy. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Okay, we got two votes for Silly Man, one for Blue Ball. Ah, uh, Mud, I remember catching Mud. Yeah. So we, so, so, they, so he was on the team for a little bit, and uh, he evolved to a Marsh Tom. He has, uh, um, really good ability. He has pure power, which is really good. Um, but unfortunately, um, uh, I don't think his moveset's really that great. Um, but yeah, uh, so here I can... So right now we just, so the, the, the decision is between, let me move, at least move Marsh Tomp from the rip box to the ones we can choose from box. So we have, we have blue ball. And just as a reminder, this is his stuff. So this is his move set. And then we're choosing between him or Silly Man, who is our new addition to the team, who uh, also is pretty good looking, has an adamant nature. She has shell armor, which protects in squirrel hits, which is so nice. And she also has a fairly decent move set. I mean, the fact that she has both meta meditate, meditate and cosmic power is not that great, but. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for moves later down the line they'll be more useful. He was on the team for a bit and then you killed him. You monster, he made shoes for orphans. Great job, hero. I know, right? I, I really did, uh, did fuck up on that one. Yeah, he was only on the team for basically the whole time between here and, um, uh, 
He's hard home. He wasn't on the team for very long. So, okay, everyone wants me to keep Sibling Man? That works for me. We wanted to go to Lost Tower. Hold on. <laughs> I still don't know why it's chugging the way it is. It's so weird. But, um... Oh, while you since you're here, Gardrak, um... Let me shout, let me uh, do my little thing for you. So, uh, this stream is being sponsored by Gardrak. Um, so if, uh, if you guys, um, uh, so she is currently having a lot of financial troubles. So if you have any spare change, please on, head on over to, uh, her, any of those links. And, um, if you could give her any money that you can, that'd be really helpful. Also any subs, bits, or, um, any other, like, Revenue I make off stream will go directly to Gardrek as well. So um, even if you're just watching, you're still helping Gardrek out. But honestly, the links to all of her stuff is a more direct way to help her out. So I'd recommend like doing that instead of uh, if you can. I mean, like if you have the option to give me bits versus give Gardrek direct money, I say give Gardrek direct money. I think it's a little bit more useful. For her, so. But whatever method works for you. I got a film rocket edition. I also didn't also want to get out of bed. Oh, I want to get out of bed. Well, you know, do whatever you think you gotta do, guide. Um, if you want to, if you want to film it, you should film it. But like, also, if if you're if you're struggling today, you know, do what do what you're capable of doing. I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. Ooh, it's Drifflim. Drifflim's a uh, um, Soundjack's favorite uh, Pokemon, by the way. For those of you who don't know, that's why his uh, his his username is four two six because it's that's the number of Drifflim. Get it? <laughs> All right, let's get this battle going. Pokefan Leonard, hello. Tenta cool. Hi. Got silly man here. I mean, it's not so much I'm struggling today. It's just it's cold and my bed is so cozy. Oh, fair. Well, hey. You know. I get you. Sometimes it's just cozy, you know. I totally get you there. Um. I just- I know I'm putting on Brennan a little more than maybe I should be, but he needs the levels! He's a freaking he's a freaking trap inch. He needs to- he needs to level up. Like, so badly. Like, incredibly badly. Thank god I'm using special- special attack right now. Nice! Oh. Is it an item? What? Oh, dang. Okay. What? Freaking fog. Come on. Oh, we're withdrawing tentacle. Okay. Blossom! Okay. I missed again. <laughs> Great. Uh, this, this fog is just... Lovely. Why do all these Pokemon have defense raising mo- Ah! Come on! Fuck you, Fog! I hate you! Uh, okay. You're just going for tentacle again? Oh my god. Just fucking hit the thing! Hit the thing! Oh, thank god. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Nice. Blossom. Okay. I mean, I can still keep Brennan out. Let's keep Brennan out. Oh my god. Keep using Harden. Oh, you gotta fucking hit the thing. Hit the boy. Holy shit. Come on. Miracle. Okay. That's good to know that you have. Oh, fuck. You have freaking Draco Meteor Blossom. Really? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, good for that crit. Have yourself, have yourself a merry little Nuzlocke. Try for Cynthia. Next year, Brennan might 
just be a vibe vibrima. Sorry guys, my singing's not that great. Also, how dare you put out Christmas music when it's almost summer, guide? The audacity. I'm just giving you a hard time, it's okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, fuck your super potion, man. Ooh. Aerodactyl? Who oh boy. Um, well... Okay, hold on. We are- he is weak to, uh, to electric, right? Right? Rock doesn't resist electric, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure! Oh, come on! Really? <sighs> Given that you never- you got the song reference to put up, this is what I had to resort you- resort to! Okay, please live, Brennan, come on. Come on, come on. Whoo! Well, we'll find out. Yeah, okay, you are weak. To it. And you faded away, because fuck you. I mean, like, m mostly just because y I'm assuming you use a lot of. Oh, fuck. This, this is the stupidest. Um, I'm assuming you use. Oh, Psycho Cut. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you use a lot of references to musicals. That's probably why I don't get them. Holy shit! This fucking fog. Like, this is just. Oh, great. Again. Come on. Hit the man. Hit the man. <sighs> okay. There we go. Come on, Brennan. This will get you a lot of good experience if you can take out this Aerodactyl. You have all these citrus berries. What the fuck? Um. Just real quick. Oh, not lemonade. Super potion. All right, good stuff. Oh, hmm. Oop, nope. Oh, good. Thank God. Thank you for hitting Brennan. Oh, okay. I forgot how annoying the whole like, I can't hit anything because there's fog thing is. Nice, twenty eight. Good. Can I just use Geek Fog right now? Oh yeah, let's do it. Whew, there we go. Better. We will do that, uh... <laughs> the ne on the next floor. Better. Um... Okay. Alright, time for a double battle now. It makes no difference where we are. If you have a Pokemon with you, I reckon you ought to battle. My Pokemon is a lively one. Let me show you how much. What a... Oop, I know it's chugging a little bit. Fourth floor. Okay, so there's a hidden item here, but then we have return. A Mew? Oh, God, okay. Ah. Uh, well, attack order will do a lot of damage to a Mew. <laughs> Um, can't really say much for the Grimer, because, like, I don't have Psychic or Ground-type moves, so... Vice Grip, I guess? Nice! Oh, yeah! Larvesta, you go! You go, man! Oh, great. Leech Seed. Okay. Not great, but like, also not terrible, I guess. Um. Mew. Uh. Oops. Okay, I am back. Welcome back, Quinby. Uh, so, just so you know, a uh, guide is in and, uh, he revived Blue Ball. So, Blue Ball has returned. He is a potential option on the team. I'm keeping Silly Man in for now, uh, just to test him out, or her out, I mean, but. Um, so I figured you'd find that very nice. Thunder Wave? Uh, I mean, that's 
not a terrible TM, all things considering. Like, Thunder Wave's a pretty good, solid, uh, uh, status move. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Thunder Wave as a TM. Victory Bell. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think I- you're po poisoned, so I don't think Bug is gonna do anything to you. Um, I'm pretty sure at least. I feel a little nervous about putting out Brennan. Well, you are 28. I gotta start- I gotta start being brave with Brennan. I really need him to level up, you know, so. I don't know, Constrict. It's like sometimes the mons could use shitty moves like that. Alright, let's go for Lava Plume. Although, I mean, I guess Icicle Spear would be better for Brennan, but it's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you burned him. Good. Ooh. Damn. Perfect. Wonderful. Your sorrow is deepened all. Oh. That's sad. Okay. Oop. A bag on! Bag on is super cool. Oof. Metal coat! Ooh, okay. Well, we've got some options for evolutions if we ever want to do that. I might as well challenge these folks too, I guess. Yeah, I can't really heal anyone right now. I can't embarrass myself again. Not for my girlfriend. I don't want to look bad again. Not when my boyfriend's watching. The stress of wanting to do well when your uh, significant other is others in the room. Bag on, more like bug off runs. Oh no. All right, um... Uh, again, I don't think Venusaur is gonna care about attack order, so... Um... Could put out Brennan, I guess? And then, um... Well, let's see, who else? Oh, jeez. Why are we... Why? Why? Why are we being like this game? Come on. Uh, yeah, let's get off Frozen, I guess. Instead. Ooh. I am so glad I switched. Holy shit. That was an excellent play. Hey, to my favorite Pokemon. I'm not happy about that! Oh my god, okay. Thank god it didn't it did like zero damage. Perfect. Um so I'm gonna have to use Icicle Spear. Um uh, we'll use it on Doduo, and then we're gonna do Avalanche on Venusaur. Power trick? Okay. I guess you're gonna be super defensive now. I made a bad mistake in my Pokemon throwback playthrough. Oh, what'd you do? Flame Wheel and Frozen? I'm surprised it didn't do more. Yeah, I- I mean, Venusaur is a little more... It has color change! Okay! It could have an ability that's really shitty and like reduces something or whatever. I mean, also Frozen has like insane defenses, so... Not insane, but like... Alright, so it's Ice-type now, I guess. <laughs> Ooh! <gasps> Horror Queen Cosplay is raining the party of four! Oh my gosh! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! How is your stream, Horror Queen? Yo, yo, yo! Hello, Triforced LGZ! With those hype shark emojis. I would show them my, my own off. Thank you for the follow! But, uh, that's not on this account, so... Oh, Guide is already shouting them out. Hi! Please go follow Horror Queen Cosplay. I'm gonna promote this girl up because I actually know her IRL. IRL. 
And she's an amazing cosplayer. She does really cool, like, spooky streams a lot. So if you like horror and cosplay, definitely in person check out. Also, if you like Resident Evil, hit this girl up. She will talk your ear off about it. Also, do not challenge her to a round of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, especially in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I still have the flashback, Vietnam flashbacks to that. Anyway, thanks, boy. I love you. I love you too, Horror Queen. You're so cool. I'm happy to see you. I'm now cash and to cash all three birds with Dreamer Balls. Do it. Do it, Gardrak. Uh, let me also change my update to say that we're... Uh, so you're coming in, for those of you who came in. Uh, we are playing our Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke in Platinum. Um, so, um, blah, blah, blah. so, for those of you who don't know much about that, that basically means I'm playing Pokemon on hard mode, but, like, even harder than hard mode. It's, it's great. Um, I actually have some commands for it, so if you wanted to know the rules, uh, they are right here. You can click on the link and it'll explain to you a little bit more about what Nuzlocke is. And then if you wanted to know what exactly I randomized in my randomizer, uh, here is the stats. Um, so it's, it's been a little bit of a crazy journey. Brennan is hurting, which is not great. Um, right now we're double battling right now. We, if you know Pokemon Platinum, we have three gym, gym badges. I almost said gemstones. Gym badges under our belt. Uh, we're in Salation Town right now. We're in the Lost Tower specifically. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, let's see what else. You want to bring about some good vibes? Yeah! I like your good vibes. Your vibes are very good, Horror Queen. Uh, although that game is my shit right here, playing Marvel vs. Capcom. I don't know, I'm a pretty good, pretty decent free to try to play her. Guide! Guide, you don't- you do not want- you do not want the pain and horror of challenging Horror Queen cosplay to a- to an Marvel vs. Capcom fight. Like, it's just- <sighs> Anyway. You basically just become a punching bag, that's all I'm gonna say. JK, JK, I suck in main right for the novelty. <laughs> I mean, do you do you really main him for any other reason? Because Venus right is like garbage, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure there is someone who could kick your butt, kick my butt at Phoenix right, but you know. Probably of what happened with Articuno is about 4.7%, assuming I had it at low health and asleep. I see. Well, I'm rooting you on, Gardrak. I'm rooting you on in your in your adventures. Depends on the turnabout. Haha, <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna heal Brennan, I think, that's what we're gonna do, yeah, and then we're going to, um, we're gonna, uh, use, we're gonna take out, um, trying, we're gonna just have Frozen focus on the Venus Soar, why do you have Rock Wrecker, Dodwell? Okay, thank god this flame wheel is doing like not much damage because I would be super upset if it was Probably for 20, which is how many I have right now is 27.5% Hold on, I need to actually scroll up again for you, Gardrak. What were you talking about before the raid? Uh, you're talking about your throwback thing. Is this like um Rock wrecker more like run wrecker. Am I right? Yeah, pretty much Thank god it like I think you have to cool down after you use it though, so that's like helpful. Alright, so I'm pretty sure Doduo can take out this- I mean Doduo. Brennan can take out the Doduo. I'm not worried about that. We'll have Frozen use Synthesis, because why not? Because you're not going to do anything this round. Sounds like this is Nuzlocke is challenging. It is pretty challenging, uh, Triforce. It's like, there's a lot more random- like, like, I've randomized a lot. Oh, that's right, I type- oh well, that's fine. Um. I've randomized a lot, so I can't even prepare for, like, gym battles the way you normally would be able to. So, for instance, um, like, nice. Okay, so, okay, but hear me out. Hold on. So, like, like, here, I'll, look, I'll show off my team, uh, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, for instance, Silly Man is a Swaylo. Oh, God. I can't explain this to people! When I'm speaking Spanish, though! Jesus, alright. Five minutes on the clock! Uh, I apologize ahead of time for anyone who does actually legitimately speak Spanish in chat. To clarify, I am not a fluent Spanish speaker. This is just forcing myself to speak it more often so I get better at it. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm advanced. I feel like I can pronounce things really well. I'm just not great at speaking, so. Put the... Get in that... Uh, 
clock on there. Uh, 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 timer for five minutes and... Hola! <laughs> uh, um, bienvenidos a los... Hmm. Un momento. Uh, no se dice Raiders en español. Uh, 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 buscando... Uh, busca... Busco... Uh, la palabra. Un momento. Oh no, Chapo Run! <laughs> tu hablas español! Lo siento! Ah, estoy uh, uh, tan vergüenza. Tengo. Estoy. Tengo. Ah. Puedes hacerlo. <laughs> okay. Uh, say Oh. Uh. Uh. Ya. Uh. Es ya. No. Uh. El invas. El invasor. O el. Sla, uh, el. La comando. So. El invasoros. Uh, ben bienvenidos a todo. <laughs> uh, tengo vergüenza. Okay. Um, pues, uh, vamos a, a completar esta... Ah, uh, los palabras. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, esta torre. Ah, uh, oh, oh mierda, eso significa Solomon edición español, española. Historia, historia. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, la diccionaria, di diccionaria, diccionaria, <laughs> uh, um, que uh, uh, yo, yo uso, uh, uh, <laughs> mm. uh, well, uh, pues, uh, I, uh, yo, uh, oh, um, uh, quiero uh, decir uh, tower en español uh, porque uh, uh, donde uh, no uh, está uh, está en una torre uh, <laughs> pienso sí ya yeah, torre um, uh, pues uh, 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 el predierte, no, pre, pre, predierte, tre, no, mm -mm. Uh, uh, okay, uh, 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 necesitamos una Pokémon por, ah, uh, no, vamos. Inglés ahora, por favor. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, guys. Uh, uh, ten, um, uh, tien, uh, tienes, no. Yeah, tien, tienes, uh, buena suerte. Bien suerte, uh, con su video. <laughs> uh, lo siento para los, uh, 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 hispano, español, uh, oh. mm. <laughs> me estás haciendo usar el traductor de Google para acompañar, acompañar el tema. Ok. Uh, oh, uh, yo necesito uh, usar uh, Defog para uh, obtener 
los itemas. <laughs> Pobre dove. Ah, we're done. Asta e finito. Holy crap. Okay. I'm so stressed because I know Chapamon speaks fluent Spanish. So, oh my god. I really hope, I really hope that was okay and that I made sense. Let me know. Honestly, if I was like really bad, please let me know. I'm very, my, my Spanish is like, I'm going to go with the theme. That's what I, yeah, I did understand what you were saying. Night Out Fox, I did not. I was not able to respond, but yes, you were. That I did get the idea of what you were saying that you're using a Spanish. You're using the uh, a, uh, a translator. Ayuda, 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 ayuda. <laughs> help, 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 help with Spanish. Yeah, so I'm. I have that redemption um, uh, uh, thing just so I can practice my Spanish more and get more comfortable speaking it. Because I feel like sometimes I. I am better at it than I think I am, you know? You said your salutations, so guys, I was a little off in terms of the order you said words, but you pronounced them well and I can understand what you meant. Okay. Well, that's better than... That's better than it could be. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, my... I know Spanish grammar well, I feel. It's just... Uh, my brain doesn't work fast enough, I feel like, at the moment, to, like, really put it into... Into any strong wild Pokemon. We've had a couple. Uh, I, well, this is actually my third run, by the way, of this game. Um, I actually have done this two times earlier, and I actually got, my, my I had a death where I had um, a, what is it, Kangaskhan that knew Swords Dance and Dark Void, and a Dialga that knew Outrage as a double battle in the Wayward Cave, and that absolutely murdered my entire party. It was really sad. Why was that Vulpix presenting her backside to us? Because she's very sex positive. I don't know. No! How long are we streaming for? Uh, Vulpix needs need love too? That was a joke, by the way. That was a joke. That was a joke. I do not, do not, do not, do not. Uh, please do not engage in sexual activity with animals. Please. Bestiality is not okay because... Animals cannot consent. Guide, you came back to the weirdest point. Have you heard of the Pokemon version of Despacito? I have not. Estabas muy graciosas, lo me gusto. You're very gassy. Oh, you're gassy. <laughs> you're very gassy. And you like it? Ooh. You love it? You loved it? That's past tense, I'm pretty sure. Did I translate that right, Chapel? <laughs> I think I did. She <laughs> makes it not shy on showing her holes! No! I just I just opened up a really bad and I need an adult. I'll send you I'll send you I'll send it to you afterwards. Yes, please do. Dope catch Galade. Yeah, uh so as far as this run is concerned, I think the strongest mon we had a, a really nasty encounter with a slacking that that was might have killed our whole team, but uh thankfully Bombardier, who's unfortunately no longer with us. Uh, took out the slacking in one hit, so um, I will forever remember Bombardier for that. What a what a king! <laughs> All right, so we beat the Lost Tower. Um, stop us yeah. So if you guys wanted to speak Spanish in chat, feel free to as well. Uh, me, I might just respond to you in English because um, it's a little easier on me. But um, I, it is good for me to like look at uh, chat and read it. So Graciosa is. Dirty and mischievous. Oh, okay. I see. I had not heard of that word before, so... I thought it said gaseosa, so I was like, gaseous? What? Is she gassy? What? I am not even close to being an adult, but I like Pokemon, so whatever. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you're not... I, I will say, though, um, this is an 18 plus stream, so if you are under 18, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Because <laughs> I've, I've labeled this as a mature stream. This is a mature stream. Please, if you're a minor, excuse yourself. I, I use Google Translate because I can't spell it well, so I need to spell it correctly. Yeah. No, I don't I don't blame anyone for using Google Translate. I actually, fun fact, to promote promote it, just so you all know, um, a really good Spanish-speaking resource is Spanish Dict, which has a very unfortunate shortened name, because every time I say Spanish Dict, it sounds like I'm saying Spanish Dick. 
But anyway, um, it's a really handy, it's actually a really handy uh, online dictionary. I use it all the time. Um, it, it's really good. It has like conjugation listings. So that's really helpful if you're like, don't know how it's conjugated, uh, which is really nice if it's a verb. Um, it also gives you pronunciations, it gives you thesaurus, it's really handy. So I really like Spanish Dict for that reason. Um, so I use that a lot when I'm trying to speak Spanish. I try not to use Google Translate a lot just because it's helping me like not like to help with the getting to speak it better, you know? You know? Yeah. So, but hey, I hope I'm getting better at it. Uh... I was taught it meant funny. Ooh, ooh. Nah, funny is. I forget what funny is, but it's not that. Oh no, yeah, gracioso does mean funny, amusing. Maybe a gracioso has some other like, on a on a on, on a, on like some weird uh. Yeah. Uh. So it also here. See so other. See so other connotations of gracioso. Uh, are... Hold on. Hold on. OBS. The other forms of it are amusing, cute, attractive. Uh, and then a fool, a clown, or a, or a comedian. It's a noun. So, so, uh, el gracioso or la graciosa. Man, you know what also sucks about Spanish is that it's such a gendered language, man. One of the very good things about English is that you don't have gendered nouns. Well, that's not true. You do have gender, some gender nouns, but typically it's like very limited cases. It's not like a rule or any, like it's not like every noun is, is gendered, so that's nice. Guess what I streamed earlier, Dove? What did you stream? Deja de hablarlo. What? Under the something, I think, or next to the something. I forget what deja is. I think it's next to. There are those a few words I don't know because I don't use them often. I never use them. Then you say them. Yeah, yeah. Like I, uh, a lot of my gaps, honestly, with my Spanish, I think to some extent, um, is like vocabulary. Like I, I do remember some vocabulary words, but others, like, I have to look, look at, think about it a lot more. It does, but from my comments growing up, it tends to mean dirty or nasty way. Ah. That's another thing I don't know. It's slang. <laughs> slang is a whole big thing. Uh, from my experience, my family used chistoso for funny. Also, there's the whole thing about, like, depending on what Spanish-speaking country you're in. It, it, it can... Some words can have totally different connotations, so it can be uh, difficult. I was taught by both a Puerto Rican and a Colombian Spanish teacher, but different points in high school, so... Do you, do you speak fluently uh, Genesis, or are you like me and... Like, you, you kind of know it, but not really. <laughs> so we gotta establish something here. If both get can consent, then there's no problem, right? Ah, uh, Oh, boy. <laughs> I have to answer this on stream. Well, look. Povix po isn't real, but yes, I guess. Because in theory, that's the only reason why we we don't condone bestiality, right? Because we can't get, get informed consent from, a, from an animal, you know? We can't ever truly know if that's what they want. The Vulpix cannot. Why? I thought that the Vulpix thing butt thing is over. It's never over. What about Team Rocket's Meowth? <laughs> okay, so he can talk and has human intelligence, so... <laughs> I was hoping. Rule of thumb, no fuck the Pokemon. Yeah. I'd say that, um, but uh, look, I did say that consent, look, if, if Meowth can give informed consent, I guess technically, but also, Meowth doesn't seem like the mom who's interested in boning a human, he seems very, like, maybe another cat, and that's about it. Vulpix can learn psychic moves and psychic Pokemon can often talk to move. there's a chance somewhat! As gross as it is, yes, Meowth can, we see a yeah. God, you always come back at the worst time, we are still talking about, we've now talked about if if Vulpix could consent to having sex with a human, would they have? Could it? Would it be okay morally speaking? I, I'm just like, like head palming just now. Like, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get back to uh actually like, 
Uh, why was I in the box? I forgot. What was I doing? <laughs> All this talk about, like, uh, uh, Vulpix ass has <laughs> distracted me. The Candle Lab Library might have something to say about human Pokemon mating. Alert! Alert! Ooh, okay. Doesn't mean we would actually have sex with actual Pokemon. <laughs> Quick with me giving Bonk on all chat. A child I do not know has poked their head into my room. That's right, Pokemon human sex is semi canon. It is! Technically, yeah. I forgot we had guests. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? Honestly, I feel like I've been. I really should take my, my midstream break. I haven't taken it yet. So. Let's take it now. Um, so, we put on a BRB st a screen. Um, so, this is your time to, like, you know, stretch, get a snack, get a drink, uh, do other things, and then I'll be back in a moment. See you in a moment.
All right, we are back. So, we were, uh, finished, we finished the Lost Tower. That was the bit, last thing we did. Um, so we're going to now head probably north, right? Yeah, we're gonna head north. Um... Yeah, because we're heading towards Vealstone right now. So that's our next destination. So, let us hit over there. Alright, so we got a new route, which means a new location for us to catch them on. Excitement! Let me, uh, find. Uh. Then Red walks to- uh, Red meets Karum Kurama. Red sends out his Vulpix and walks off. Why do I have to send this thing's ass, Kurama says and walks off, even though Red found it hysterical? <laughs> Sodom on stuff. Fun! Love that Sodom on. Where- okay, never mind. Dove, what's the command for Soundrex new channel again? Oh, it's MB on display. I'll do it, uh, real quick. In the podcast while we're at it. <laughs> Alright, thank you for lurking, Ninetale Fox. Uh, podcast is also this. There's an episode coming out today, actually. I think it's the, well, what episode is it? Addiction, uh, it's about time cest. <sighs> Two time cest fix for the price of one thing. Man, I hate it. <laughs> I'm very, it's very thinks I hate it mood. Okay, so I don't have Route 207 as an encounter. Did we not go to Route 207? Let me see. Oh, I guess... Huh. No, there... Did we never catch a Mon north of... Or north of Ordberg? Because I don't have that on my list. Hmm... I'll have to look at the, uh, all my mods again to see if I missed someone, but if not, then hey, we might want to go back there and at least get the encounter, even though it's really low level right now. Okay, thank you, no problem. Okay, well, at least for now, let me go get these berries real quick. What exactly is time cest? So, so, uh, for context, my podcast is about the, uh, 2007 movie Meet the Robinsons, which is a Disney movie, um, and, uh, the, this is gonna be involve spoilers, actually, for, uh, the movie Meet the Robinsons, but, um, so, basically the main, the, the uh, the movie in involves a main character who's named Lewis, who, uh, gets involved in a time travel, gets involved in time travel ba thanks to Wilbur, who's another boy who he meets, and um, uh, they're trying to stop the bowler hat guy from fucking around with the time stream, and uh, you find out that Lewis is actually Wilbur's dad, um, which is why the bowler hat guy was targeting him, because he's a famous inventor in the future. Um, so... It's called Time Cess because there are people who uh, ship Wilbur and Lewis together, and, um, well, uh, as you can see, that is kind of... <laughs> uh, hold on, actually, this guy is uh, into battle, so let me... Ooh! Okay, we're gonna get our, our Route 210 encounter now. Pelipper! Okay! I can deal with a Pelipper. Uh, you don't have any really. Well, actually, you you'll resist attack order because you're flying type. Well, I'm a little nervous because I am a little higher level and 
Oh boy, okay, actually. You can just keep chipping at him. So that's what Time Zest is going to be. Um, and uh, neither me nor my co-host are particularly fond of, of it. Um, because it's, you know, <laughs> incestuous <laughs> in a way that's a little rough. Like, I mean, to be fair, I mean, you know, if you're, if you're really into shipping, and that's like your big concern when it comes to interacting with fan and stuff. Um, oh, shit. Uh, uh, I'm gonna switch to someone else just in case we miss this catch. So, Marvesta, come on out. Um, but basically, uh, it's not, <laughs> it's not the, the most, uh, it's not the most, uh, uh, great. It's not the greatest thick. Well, it's not the greatest, um, ship out there. It's not very wholesome. <laughs> the, 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 uh, I like the emoji. The corn emoji. Very funny. Um, I guess I'll use a defog. A caliper that knows dig. Interesting. Uh, okay. We're gonna use a uh, great ball. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, we actually had a whole episode that we wrote, that we did, not wrote, we did about time cest in general, but then we oh, moved on to actually talking about, like, specifically a fic. <laughs> and the one we're talking about in this episode is, uh, well, definitely something. Oh, I didn't read the, sorry guys, I didn't read the, uh, the thing, and by thing I mean... I did not read the Pokedex entry, so apologies for that. Okay, so let's name this boy. What are we gonna name her? Three. We're gonna name her three, but it has to be another Pokemon's name. Wonderful. All right, let me get a RPG dice out here. Dot org. Hello. Okay, we're gonna. For the Firefox, it's gonna be one D eight six eight, I think eight or eight nine eight. Hold on. Hi. I believe it's nine eight nine. Oh uh, yeah, okay, nine six eight nine eight. It's gonna be 206. 602. Which is Dynamo. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so we're naming we're naming the teleport Dynamo. Cool. Dynamo. Yep. At least Dynamo's a really interesting name, so. All right, welcome to the team, Tynamo. And then we're gonna switch back to this scene. I want to reiterate this specifically against this is specifically against competitive rules. What's against competitive rules? Well, so I want to actually look at. Um... Oh, actually, while we're here, let me. Um... Naming Pokemon after other Pokemon? Oh, yeah. And the kind of nickname species is the same as different existing species. Yeah. No, that's fair. It is against competitive rules. But I think it's funny for, like, what we're doing right now. Okay. So, let me just... I'm just gonna really make sure that I have all the locations. That the, all the locations are good. So, we have a Route 202 encounter. We have a Route 204 encounter. Route 203. Route 2... Okay, we do have a Route 207. I just never... I just never wrote it down. Okay. Route 207. We have Route 201. Yep. Or Bird Gate, we did. Um. And then. 
Valley Windworks. We have Route 205, Eternal Forest. Yep. Route 206. Yep. Warburg Mine. Yep. Wayward Cave. Yep. Heart Home City. Yep. I spelt Heart Home though wrong on my notes. Heart Home City we have. Route 208 we have. Route 209. Oh! Garofalo Gar counts as a Route 209 encounter. Even though this was the Lost Tower. You know what? I'm still gonna count count uh, Garofalo, though, as a separate encounter. Because Lost Tower is a named location. Like, it's called the Lost Tower. <laughs> I mean, look. If... if if Garofalo's a dupe and technically violates my rules, I I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, cause just because the game doesn't count doesn't mean you have to knock out it. You know, yeah. So I'm gonna say Garofalo is 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 a unique encounter because it's not like it's like a it's not like it's an upper floor of a dungeon or something. It's like a distinct region in the area. So and then Mount Blue Ball or Blue Ball Mount Blue Ball Blue Balls are Mount Cornet counter. Uh, Route 20210, and then, um, the team. Mount Blue Ball. <laughs> I, I misread that. <laughs> Whoops. Then, Escalation Ruins, Escalation Ruins. The Mining Museum is our, is the Orberg City slash Mining Museum. Is that encounter? Um, Route 211 is, Bre Brennan is Route 211? Oh, yeah, no, I did. He is Route 11. Frozen is Ravage Pass, which we. Do I have on here? Yes, I do. And then, um. Even though both Bombardier and Lacey were found on Route 201, I am counting Lacey as a Route 201 encounter. Uh, just because, um. As a separate counter, because they were my starter, so they don't, they don't count. And then, Egg. So, Egg doesn't. Does not count. Okay. Cool, so I have. I didn't know- I feel like- I figured I had to have missed something. Um, but... Yeah, cause we don't need- so we don't need to go back. We do still have some- some encounters we haven't done yet that we could do. So like, Eterna City, I could fish for something there. Um, we haven't done Flora- Flora Roma Meadow. Um, either. Um, and I'm not sure like how many of these cities have like honey trees in them that we could use, but if they do, then we could use that instead. The worst mountain <laughs> just went over this don't mount the Pokemon. <laughs> yes, please don't do that. Okay. Alright, so let's let's move on. And actually fight this guy. Oh, I meant to look at Pelipper to see if we want to put him on the team. I don't uh after I fight this guy we'll do that. Rancher Marco has Shiftry. Ooh, silly man's gonna eat. Oh no, I forgot I didn't heal. Fuck. Okay, um, not silly man, I guess, which sucks because you have a bug tape move and you'd eat this Shiftry for breakfast, but fortunately, of course, I forgot. Forgot about that. God damn it. You'll be fine. You're very faster. Well, I'm already switching out anyway, so it's fine. Oh no, Tail Whip. Okay. Well. Um. I should probably get more healing items. That'd be useful. Shifri's got heal too. Nice. Um. Holy 
Holy shit. I, oh yeah, that's right. Night Slash is a, is a stab move. That's why it's doing so much damage. I was like, why is this thing hitting so hard? And it's because, oh wait a minute. It has, a, it has a stab damage, which is like rare for this, for this like game. Okay. Oh, dang. Well, let's see what else we could have gotten. No ran. How cute. Well, this I can run from. Yeah. Okay. So while we heal, we will uh, check out uh, the Pelipper, who we named uh, Taima. And then I'll also buy some stuff. The fact that stab is the common term for that bonus boost is so great. Yeah, no, it means uh, same ta same type attack bonus. So it's, it's, I feel like it's a very, like, quirky way of doing it. Yeah. And I love how because stab is, like, the the colloquial term, uh, there's a meta in uh, on Showdown called Bluntmons, which is basically you have to build teams, but you can't use stab moves. Get it? Because it's blunt. Because you're not using sharp objects like stabbing for stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, let's uh, let's check out uh, Tynamo. Okay, so we have docile nature. Okay, technician. Hmm, that could be useful useful ability. And oh, you have a a really good move set. For for technician, jeez. If only you were um well extra sentries wouldn't work for that. Actually zap cannon and dig. Honestly, this is a pretty stellar moveset. Like, it has powerful moves. Cause it's more of a special attacker, but technician means that like even lower power moves are better. That's disgusting, I love it. <laughs> Blunt Mons, wonder if there's a lot of glass types, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hope so too. Ooh. So I'm interested in Tynamo. I mean, I don't know if it's strictly better than anything we already have on the team, but like she's not like useless either. She's like interesting. She's interesting. I have to look up what how low the base power has to be for a technician to work though because i don't know let's see uh technician increases the power of moves which have a power of 60 or less by 60 50 percent for moves with variable power technician will only apply to the power of 60 or less when used okay so for example clothing and grass not only get technician boost if the target's weight is okay only external power modifying effects which are applied before technician checks the moves power of fairy aura, dark aura, or a breaking battery. In generations five through six, or six through seven, no external effects are taken into account when determining if technician applies in generation seven or eight. Yeah, six, seven, and then eight. This effect does not apply to confusion damage, which remains at power of 40. Okay. So the only move that Dynamo benefits that, that Dynamo benefits from with its ability is rolling kick. But that's still really neat. That means all of its moves hit pretty hard, which is nice. Hmm. What are our thoughts on Tynamo? I'm not uh, as, like, gunning for it as I was with Silly Man, but... Hey, I mean... You know. So I'm thinking yes or no for Tynamo, basically. Do we keep, do we, do we give it, do we give it a spot on the team or no, we're not feeling it. It was also nice about Tynamo is that um, she has a good variety of like types on her um, in terms of like, you know, what she can do. So that's really interesting too. I don't know. I don't know. Tynamo, Tynamo is pretty interesting. But also, I mean, she's a little lower level than everyone else, so that's also a thing to consider. Um. But we do have some EXP shares, so 
I don't. I feel like it will take won't take that long to get her up to the same level as everyone else. Um. But I, I don't know who we would. The other thing is I don't know who we would who we would remove for China for China Mo. I don't know who who we would who's the weakest link. You know. <laughs> no one no one has any opinions I guess on China Mo so far. Which is fine. Um. Hmm. Maybe Larvesta. I guess maybe we could get rid of her for silly. We could get silly man for for Tynamo. Perhaps. Poor Gaps. I think the definite stayers on the team are Frozen and Minun and Lacey. Brennan even. Brennan's like so close to being- it's close enough to being a Vibrava that I feel like I need to keep Brennan on the team in order to like justify the effort I put into like leveling- leveling him up. Ah, no one voted. Okay. Well, then I guess that means that you want my opinion and I guess- uh, we'll keep- Oh shit, I didn't see the poll. No, you're okay. Don't worry about it. Um, I guess I was gonna vote no. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking no. I think I think our team as, as it is is fine. Um, so, you know, maybe we might change it later. Not sure. But for now. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh ho ho, I'll show you how... Y'all how tightly I bond- oh. Oh ho ho. I'll show y'all how tightly I bond with my daughter. I can get away with slacking off if I have my Pokemon out. <laughs> uh, sorry to everybody in the chat who's southern. Even Matt. Joduo and Curlia. Okay. Hmm. Well. Goodbye Curlia. And uh. We'll get someone for... We'll do Brennan for... For Dodua. Hell yeah! Curly is gone! Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Ninetale Fox! Oh boy. Brennan doesn't care about... I'm just... Uh, we'll get, um, Frozen out, and then we'll do Icicle Sphere. Now, are we done with the Vulpix ass bullshit or not? We are, I think. I have not heard anyone talk about it. Chat's been kind of quiet anyway, so I guess I think we do. Oh, well. Heal Bell. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. it makes it the ice type. I forgot about that. Um. Well, I do have flash cannon, so. LOL, jokes on you. I mean, you brought it back up. No, maybe not. Haha. <laughs> Oof. You got a point there, Gardrak. Okay. Uh, we're gonna actually go oops and uh, talk to this lady here. I think she has something for me. Man, I don't think we've had like tall grass like this in a while. Ooh, yay, TM! What did No, we're done with it. What did I do? <laughs> Okay, let's check out the TM we got. Let's see. Uh, it was 51. Flamethrower! Ooh! Nice, that's a good one. Okay, neat. I'm happy with that. I mean, that's actually kind of a normal TM, but... Hey, that's, that's still good. Alright. 
heal. Oh, and I also wanted to buy more items, more healing items. I forgot about that. And maybe sell some things. Okay. So let me do that before I forget. Okay, yep, we don't want that. We're gonna get more super potions. Get an antidote. Mm hmm. Okay, we're good on that. We're good on that. We'll buy, like, I don't know, one escape rope, I think. So, everyone who has joined, we met as old picks who showed their acid tubs, so start talking about for no reason. No, you don't need to keep bringing it up. Ooh, Dusk Ball. Holy shit, we want those. Those are really good. I don't care if I spend all my money on, like, getting a bunch of those. Because honestly, they are worth it. They are so worth it. Dusk Balls are so good. They're like the best balls in the game, pretty much. Well, at least if you're if you're in a cave or, or or at night, they're like so good. Okay, let's sell some things. Um, uh, let's see, big root mine plate. Uh huh. Cloth. Yeah, we don't want cloth hospital. We can't redeem that again. Um, white glasses, metal coat. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So that's for ground. Okay. Okay. We're good. That was the only thing I wanted to sell, I guess. Okay. We're gonna go over here. Okay, now we're battling these guys. Yay, we're gonna win the battle without the Pokemon. Yay, we're all gonna battle. Time for double battle. Okay. Jolteon, why not? All right. Okay, so. Uh, well, attack order, why not? And then, don't have any ground type moves, so I guess we'll go for vice grip on Jolteon. Nice! Spare the Jolteon! No, I can't, I'm sorry, Ryan Child Fox. Unfortunately. Oh, no! Okay, whoo! Thank you for not targeting the mom that's weak to rock type move with your rock type move. Really appreciate it. Good on you. Okay, um, so we're not gonna have Gol Jolteon around. Uh, we could put out Brennan. Uh, and then we're gonna do another vice grip on Jolteon. Thank God for need to recharge. Yay! Okay. Alright. Let's do Mega Punch on Jolteon, and then we're gonna do Vice Grip on Jolteon again. Oh, Chatter! Okay. Why well, resist that? Nice. Ooh, level up. Nice. Ooh, another level up. Even better. Cool. Okay. Alright. Alright, another guy over here. Hey, check this out. Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, Nine-Tailed Fox. I had to. Khalil. <gasps> oh, no! Not this bastard again! Fuck! Um, Lacey has cross chop. We gotta switch into Lacey. I'm a little scared about what this thing has. But, uh, we gotta do it. We gotta fucking do it. 
Holy shit. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank god for uh, it not being stabbed. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. Fucking get rid of this thing. No! Dimfrigness! You get this for chilling Jolteon? No. No, no. No, no. No, no. I will not- I will not lose Lacey to a fucking Slack King. It's not happening. It's not happening. No. I refuse. I refuse to accept defeat. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Thank god it missed. Okay. Um... Cross chop again. God damn it! Fucking hit the thing! Hit the boy, please! It's- it's a slack king! It's a slack king! It needs to die! It ha- uh, 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 come on, come on. C Lacey! What are you doing?! It's a slack king that doesn't have its normal ability! Ugh! Oh my god. Please hit it. How? How are you missing this much? How are you missing this much? Lacey! Mmm! The, the, the recoil damage is the only damage this thing has taken so far. Holy shit. I am- I am like, seething right now. Ugh! Heal you again, I guess. <laughs> Ninetale Fox, will you stop? You're one of my mods! Why are you- why are you cheering all this lacking? <laughs> come on, come on, Lacey. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta fucking hit the boy, please. You got, you have one more, you have one more cross chop. It better hit. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Please go, please go, please leave, please leave. <sighs> oh, great. So, um,. Okay, okay, okay. Are we out of the- no. Alright, so I can't heal. Oh my god. Hit flare- uh, flame wheel. Flame wheel it to death. Get rid of it, please! Oh, thank god. Oh my god, that could have been really scary. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Whew! Polywag. Not as scary. Absolutely not as scary. Uh, Polywag is pure water. So, hello, Frozen. Okay. Seed Flare. Thank God it missed! Oh, I also missed too, of course. Okay, Zen Headbutt. Okay, cool. Nice. Level 29. Man, you all- that was- oh god. That could've been really scary. Max potion. Ooh, that's handy. Okay, um, do I need to- probably need to head back to- um, don't oh, look at me, lady, please. I need to head back to heal. Because I lost all the PP on some move because someone missed four times in a row. I can't believe that. I can't believe Lacey missed four times. I'm amazing. Okay. I mean, I know cross chop isn't the most accurate move, but still. Oh, it, it has to have a better than 50% though. Oh man, okay. Let's uh, challenge this lady. I'm a rookie breeder, I'll do my very best. Amber. Oh, she is Mew. Okay. Well, Silly Man has a perfect move for you, so. There's an ice cream truck coming by. Okay. This will do that again.
All right. Nice. Snorunt. Ice cream truck? What is this, Quinn stream? Does Quinn normally have ice cream trucks in the background? Um, it was a Snorunt, I believe. So, let's bring out La Resta. Come on. There we go. Ooh. His speed boost? Great. Yes, almost every day. That's so funny. I'm on mute so much when I watch Quinn's streams because um, I can't listen to her or I can't listen to them um, when, like, when, when they stream, typically. Uh, so I never hear it if it happens. That's pretty funny. Okay. Uh, so this is a- yeah, we can't go that way. Um, we have Route 115 up ahead. Oops. Is there any hidden items around here? I guess not. So, um, I know this area has like a bunch of like double battles. I think we're okay though. I think we're in a decent position to take them on. And I also can buy some- some Moo Moo. Some Moo Moo milk. So let's do that. Let's take one dozen. Thank you. Moo Moo Milk is like a really good healing option, so. Might as well do battles. Uh, what what level is, um, Mei, uh, Ling, Mei Lin, excuse me, not Mei Ling. Um, Mei Lin is, uh, what, what, uh, what's her... 32, okay. Her Lucario is at 32. So, I will, it probably won't be a Lucario when we go to face her, but... Okay. I feel a little better about... I was worried we might be overleveled, but honestly, we do need to, like, get up a little bit more. Um, we need to bring up our, our team a bit more, so... But I think if we battle just everyone, I think we'll get there. So I'm not super worried about it. We'll see, though. Oh, boy! Okay. Alright. Nice. Edwin has a Phoebus. Okay. I mean, it's a Phoebus, so I think Attack Order should take it out pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can't use Hiding to catch a Phoebus. What are you talking about? Alright. What do you have, Fernando? You have a Spiro! Hey! Look at you. Aren't you cutie? Aren't you cute? Um. We'll actually get like a. Um. We got another Mon to, uh, to assist, I think. Uh, hold on one second, everyone. Alright, um, so I think once I've- oh. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Um, so this is gonna be a little shorter stream today, but, um, food is happening, so we're probably gonna sign out here in a moment. I also, like, need to, uh, get ready for, uh, D&D, &D, which is happening in an hour, so. Uh, yeah. So we'll save here. 
I don't think we did a oh well I guess we, we got through the lost tower we got through the salation ruins so we did do a, we did do some things we did not get to dealstone yet though have a good one Dove. thank you thank you so much Quimby yeah we're saving so um yeah uh thank you guys all, all for coming in I will do some of my promotional stuff so uh, I have my Twitter which is here I don't think guide is in chat right now where he's lurking so uh, we got soundtrack Twitter we have uh, yes yeah, Gardrek Gardrek's uh, donation stuff uh, please donate to Gardrek if you have an opportunity to she really would like to help and it would be really uh, nice of you if you did that um, we also have my, the YouTube which has our stream archives on it um, we have our discord as well if you like discord um, you have one of those what else um and also i will at least promote um soundtrack's other youtube channel which has some more um like animated slice of life stories so if you are interested in that go check that out um and i guess also my podcast but um, again i don't really expect anyone to listen to that so just a little a little half-hearted milk toast promotion all right, and then so next week, tomorrow, I'm thinking we're going to play Meet the Robinsons. So appropriate podcast promotion, I guess. Um, we're going to finish. We're going to play more of that. Uh, and then we're going to do, um, I think, uh, Saturday. I'm not I'm not sure what we're doing Saturday. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I need to think about it. I think Wednesday might be another Nazlock stream. We'll see, we'll see. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh, that's like kind of my tentative schedule for next week. I know I don't know what I'm doing for Saturday, but I still need to think about that. So I'll let you guys know when I figure that out. All right. So now let's find someone to raid. I'm going to check out the Time Says podcast to prepare. It's not just the Time Says podcast. We talk about other subjects. In fact, uh, these last two, uh, additions, um, to the podcast, these last two episodes, or, like, the last couple episodes that have been up, are the only ones, um, that are talking about that in particular. We actually talk about quite a few different things. Um, I think the, the, uh, honestly, I think the thing we've spent the longest time talking about is that one fanfic that's a crossover between Meet the Robinsons and The Incredibles called Team Future. Boy, howdy, is that a long fic? No, I mean, I'm gonna look for that episode. Oh, okay. If you want, uh, actually, I think the newest episode is gonna be airing on Anchor in like T minus uh, seven minutes. It airs at 6 p.m. So, um, yeah, it'll be coming out in just in a moment if you wanted to, if you wanted to watch. But yeah, we have all the episodes up there, so whatever you want to see. Whatever, whatever episodes of those that you think um, catch your interest. Anyway, uh, I wanted to figure out who we wanted to raid, so let's pull up my follow list. Okay, so our options are Mark Havius is playing Arm, um, Arma 3, Thakus is doing his Chainmail stream, Knowledgeable Potato is playing Katamari Damacy, Beans 1-Up is playing a retro game, Bubbly Wafo is just chatting, I think she's playing Dream Daddy. Uh, it's Nanto OMG is playing Phasmophobia. The Mana King is doing their D&D stuff. Uh, Freeze Dry Snot is playing Ghost Runner. Uh, Avenus is playing Celeste. And, uh, then we also have Chud Logic with his politics stuff. I think we're gonna raid the Mana King because I'm starting D&D soon, so we'll get into the D&D mood with, with his stream. So, let me, uh, pull up their stuff. We don't, we don't want a new poll. None of us. You ending? We, I am ending, yes. Uh, it's a little bit of a shorter stream today. Well, I mean, technically I've been going for like three hours, but, um, it's more like actually two hours. Oh no, it's, it's more like, yeah, I've been going for almost four hours. Read the fanfic? Oh. Did you, uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, Ninetale Fox, I'm gonna... Hold on, I want to, uh, can I, uh, re give you back those, uh, hold on, um, so we can, I completed that one, 
I completed that one. We're going to we're gonna re refund that for you. Um just because, uh, I'm gonna refund that for you, just because, um, I'm ending right now. And I know your stuff is pretty, pretty, uh, brief, but I really, this is a situation where I, I, I kinda have to go. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, if you can remember tomorrow, you can redeem it then and I'll read it. I just, I just have to go, <laughs> that's all. Sorry. Okay, so anyway, um, we were gonna read, let me set up that read. Start raid. Okay, um, thank you all to everyone who stopped in today. I don't know if I'm gonna make Sunday my normal thing. We might, uh, I don't know, I'll have to see. Maybe we'll do alternate days on Sundays. Maybe I'll do a poll to see whether or not people prefer Saturday or Sunday streams. Either way, um, thank you everyone to, thank you everyone who came in and uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And uh, yeah, bye.